Hey guys, welcome back to OCP Technology. My name is Shripal and today we are going to learn how we can configure data card broker in Oracle 19C on the Linux platform. So without wasting your time, let's move on the computer screen and start the practical. But before starting my tutorial, I have only one request to all of you. If you are watching first time my video, please do subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you will get my new video notification. So without wasting your time, let's move on the computer screen and do the practically. Let me log in first on primary database and check database is running or not. If database is not running, start the database and then start the standby database also. Check both database status using the following command. Now check dg underscore broker underscore start parameter value by default its parameter value is false you have to check on both side primary and standby the value of this parameter in my case you can see here the value of this parameter is false on both side and before changing the parameter values you should check your both primary and standby database should be in sync mode so let me check if there is any gap between the both. In my case, there is no gap. Both databases are in sync. In the next step, you have to disable log archive dash two parameter value on both side primary and standby because once the DG broker is comes into the pictures the dg broker is automatically set the value of this parameter if you did not disable the parameter value then during the data card broker configuration you will be face a error message aura 16698 okay so let me do it quickly now step 4 we need to enable the data card broker parameter dg broker start parameter and set the value of this parameter is true on both side primary and standby so let me do it now our parameter is set on both side step 5 configure the listener on both side and add the following entry inside the listener so let me do it quickly I have added the listener entry in the listener.aura. Let me reload the listener on both side now. Now you can see the DGMGRL is service in the listener. Okay, step 6 create the broker configurations. So you can use the which DGMGRL command, which is showing you the complete path from where you are going to execute the DG broker. Then use dgmgrl command and come on to the dgmgrl command prompt. Login with the sys user and then create a configuration for your primary database here using the following command. And then check the service is created or not using the show configuration yes you can see here digital service as a primary database configured here next step is add standby database service also in dg broker using the following command this command will add the standby database into the dg broker services now run the show configuration command then you can see here both the database service primary and standby is available in the dg broker step 7 Enable data gear broker, just run the following command. Using the show configuration, you can see the configuration status is running. So we have successfully configured the DG broker services. During broker configuration, if you are facing any issue, please write in the comment box. I will get back to you as soon as possible. We have an official telegram group. I will put the link in video description. You can join. There are a lot of experienced people who can help you if I'm not available that time. Guys, I hope you really learned something from this video. If yes, please press the like button and write your feeling in the comment box. Also, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe right now. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.